That's not good. Are you there for me? And this porn star thinks her teen daughter is pregnant. If she's pregnant, what does it mean to you? She gonna get the hell up out of my house. The test results showed that you are... Right now. Thanks for coming and thanks for watching. Out of Control Daughters are here to confront their hard-hearted moms. Our sparks are going to fly today. Please welcome Reba to the show. Reba, how you doing, honey? Hi. Hi. Reba, why are you here today? Um, I'm here today to um, make a relationship with my daughter, Aikisha. Aikisha has been ignorant to me. Aikisha has been talking to me nasty. Aikisha blames me for my drug addiction. Um, but you went through a lot of problems in your life as a young woman. Is that fair to say? Yes. Tell me, let us know, what did you go through when you were a, a young adult? What kind of problems did you have? I had drug problems. How bad was it? My drug problems was really bad. Um, I neglected Aikisha. Um, family members took care of Aikisha. Um, but foster right, care? Yeah, she was placed in foster care. Do you um, know what happened to her in foster care? No, I do not. Um, Aikisha was placed in foster care because Aikisha was uncontrollable. Aikisha would um, fight, um, do ignorant stuff to people, and so a family member placed her. Yeah. What were you doing when she was like seven, eight, nine, ten years old? What was your life like? I was running the street, getting high. Ugly. Yes. A lot of drugs. Yes. A lot of bad behavior. Yes. A lot what of kind of mother were you to her? To me, I felt like I was a good mom. But I just wasn't there for her. You admit to you had some mothering deficiencies. Yes. And today's the day you want to confront. Yes. All right. Now, when your 22-year-old son talk about why you got clean, and this is a... Um, I was um, incarcerated in um, Maryland uh, for possession. And um, while I was incarcerated, my son was killed. Um, and how'd you find out? So you're in, a, you're in a women's prison. I'm in a women's prison. For possession. And they did not call me until the day of the funeral where they knew that I was in that prison. I didn't have a chance to... Um, couldn't go to the funeral. Couldn't go to the funeral. He murdered. He was murdered. And all they gave me was a picture of my son in a casket. All right. Just stay on this point. When you find out that your boy is murdered... And you're in jail. The nights you're in prison looking up, what are you thinking? I'm thinking that I want to get my life together. I want to be a better mom for my kids. That was awful. So at this point, going forward, that was the moment you said, I'm done with drugs. I'm done with being the kind of mother that I was. And you want to rebuild a relationship my with, daughter. Aikisha, with yes. your daughter. And so you reached out to us. Yes. You also have another complicating factor here is that you and your daughter's boyfriend are just... Um, me and Fix do not get along. Um, every time I come visit my daughter, he cussing me out, talking ignorant to me on, on, on the phone. And you're saying Fitz, the boyfriend, he says things to you like, I own yeah. your daughter. Explain the, um, that. Last week, Fix told me, I own your daughter. This is my wife and I do what I want. And I told him that you're not married to her yet, and um, you don't own my daughter. And I, I kept telling him, leave my daughter alone. And hasn't she told you that she might marry him? She said it, but I don't think it's going to go down. You're going to try your best to keep it. Please welcome Reba's daughter, Aikisha, to the show. Aikisha, come on out. How you going, baby? Aikisha. Why are you so angry, mm, angry with your mother? I feel some type of way because she come here on the show saying that I was a rebellious child. For one, it comes from, if I was rebellious, it's because my mother wasn't there. So get it right. Don't come out here saying all this crazy stuff that I was better because you wasn't there. So if you want to sit back and try to say, oh, I was a rebellion. What about when I got raped, molested, going in bars at the age of six years old? Yeah, you don't tell the truth, mom. 
on some real stuff. I didn't expect you to come here to say certain stuff that you're saying. Reba, did you? You know what I mean? You gonna say something? Say it right. No, no. Don't sit back and say that I was real with rebellion or I was uncontrollable. Is it true what she's saying? I appreciate saying? what my mom do for me and no, my kids. It's true what you're saying. It's true. Yeah. It's so true. you take responsibility. But I am trying to be a better mother now. Mom, and I realize that, and I tell you that all the time. Do I not? Do yes, I not? You yeah, do. We, we do. Yeah, but you, thing, every that's time I thing, call you, do, you, that's one thing you I do. Thing. Snap. I have you an anger problem. The time. You got an anger, anger problem. problem. Because of things, like sometimes I don't want certain things. Like my mom, she has the tendency to be very negative. Like Reba doesn't know what you want. She she'll just sit just, back and call She doesn't phone. know what you're going through. Everything, you, right. Tell she don't her know what my you want. And tell her. She don't know the bitterness. She don't know the depression that I deal with every day on life's basis. I got six kids and I try to do what I got to do. I lost one child. You know, I lost one child when I was young, dumb, running the streets or whatever. You think I, like, I feel, you, look, I feel some type of way. I'm trying to do what I got to do to keep the kids that I do have with me. Did your mom run the streets and sell her body for drugs? Yes. Mom. I used to, come on, tell the truth, mom. If I was that much of a child, you were my father. Five and six years old. I'm sticking hot dogs and oodles and noodles and just to make sure you ain't, you know what I mean? I'm not trying to make it seem like everything is completely crazy with my mom, but. What about her know, cleaning up five years ago? I respect her for that. That's why in I In prison said, and she finds out. I respect my mom. What? In oh, prison. About my brother? Yeah. Yeah, that was terrible. And they ain't call her into after the fact. Awful. Now, what's going on, Ariba? What do you want to see? Is there in your heart a real consciousness of responsibility in a sense? of maybe you want to say something to her about what you've done to her and what you haven't done for her? Is there something you want to say to Aikisha? Yeah, I understand that I wasn't a good mom to you, Keisha. But I love you. I love you too, And mom. I don't want to see you go through the things that I went through mm. with your, with Fix, about Fix. Fix is no good for you, Keisha. Mom, but that's your opinion. That I, is my look, opinion. You know how they say you live by the sword, you die by the sword. You made, you, 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 you made your bed, so lay in it. I'm grown, I'm 27 years old. I have to make my own decisions and I okay, will see. when my grandkids have something to do with excuse it. Excuse me. Is she, try, so much I is she do. trying to turn your, her grandkids against you, her kids against you? No. No, you my kids, kids, no, you're not trying to turn. I'm not trying to turn my kids against you, but you have tried to turn my daughter against no, me. You told my daughter. So my daughter, my eight-year-old would get my kids. I took care of my eight-year-old daughter for five so years. What? But you sat back and you belittled me How to my daughter. You, you so was running right the street. Okay, okay, well, if you can sit back and say that you took care of my two daughter, you was obligated to set your daughter. You How was I obligated? You was running the street. So don't try to make it seem like with them. You ain't me. You know what I mean? So you do something for my daughter. Take pride. Take pride and do what you gotta do for my child. Take pride and do what you gotta do for my child. Don't sit back and try to make a scene like, oh well, I'm taking my daughter. Oh, I want money. It's always money this, money that. A grandmother that's gonna do for her child, she's gonna do. I mean, for a grandchild or whatever, she's gonna do it from the kindness of her heart. Can you see the pain she's in? Regardless of the situation. Can you see Like, come on, I wouldn't even if I was her. Tell her the pain. Tell her the pain. I trust and believe it would be on some stuff like, oh, um, these my grandkids. I don't care if my daughter wanna be crazy and do whatever she is. Let her go ahead. I ain't, I wasn't there for her, so I'm gonna do what I gotta do. If it was her, if, if I was her, I take care of 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 a of, of, of on my own. Okay, but um, you never tried to help me. Okay, okay. Well, let's please. do this. You did what you what you wanted. Well, to do. She came here. I came, she came here for one reason. She wants a relationship with you. Now I'm not sure we're quite there yet. But if she has a heartfelt apology down the road for what she did, all she did, she can't take back one page of the book right. of her. And I don't hold it against her. What do you her? want from I'm this point this forward? I'm seeing this. It's fits the problem now for, for, you said you would never accept this man, that you almost hate this man. That's and don't. And how do you do that? If this is the man she's chosen, how do we get over that? Because I'm used to my daughter with something better. Something better. And We're going to meet Fitz. Stay right there. Fitz is coming up. Mom faces the fiance she hates. You ain't doing nothing for her. Mom's doing I'm a bum. I'm a bum. A bum. A bum. A bum. A bum. Don't miss the fireworks. It's your actions. And once you plot and this girl. Ex, but it's none of your business. You know what I'm saying? It's between you, me and my daughter. And some bombshells. Did mama tell you to cut yourself no, and blame not. him? No, I did not. Mothers and daughters at odds today. Before we bring Fitz out, Reba, 
What is going forward? The drugs, the prison, the 22 year old boy killed, didn't know about it, couldn't go to his funeral, awful stuff. You running the streets, selling your body for sex, lots of problems, foster care, sexual molestation, rape, lots of problems. Going forward, what is your biggest fear in your relationship with Aikisha? That she'll leave me with, with her kids. That she'll leave you. And that you see her running down the same path that you ran down. Um, yes, I do. Um, Aikisha did some things like me, like going to uh, casinos, and she, I guess, messed with guys and yeah, stuff like that. So cycle. I do, it's, it's do see her. Going you know what I mean? When she don't went click on your kids, they going to work What if she stays with Fitz? Yeah, what if she marries that guy, prostitute? stays yeah. with him? I went that's that a permanent too. fixture in her life. What would you say? I won't come to her house no more because I can't stand the way he cussed at me. Um, be ignorant to his, towards me and my grandkids. You think he's a bad influence on your Yes, grandkids. I do. Yes, I do. Let's meet him. Please welcome my Keisha's boyfriend, Fitz, to the show. Fitz, come on out. <laughs> All right, Fitz. What's the, from your perspective, Fitz, what's the problem you have with Reba? From your perspective, and your, your perspective alone, what is the problem? She don't even know what she's going through. She don't even know what she's doing. She don't know what she's doing. She don't know what she's doing. And she don't even know what she's saying. Explain it to me. First she doesn't she says you treat her daughter horribly. Is that true? Yeah, she does. She treat her, she she don't have no respect for her daughter at all. Because she did. She says that you don't respect her daughter. That's what she says. Is that true? I respect her daughter. I don't respect the things that she does. You know what I'm saying? I'm like if you're going to do something, why make it hard for you to clean up later? Why would, like, you should take care of the situation so you don't go back yeah. and clean up. Mama says has to clean up. you walk She's around like, and tell I, people I, I, that I, I, you I, own her daughter. Is that statement she... She's with me. She ain't with nobody else. Yeah. She's with me. That means we got to do for each other. We got to... We have, to, have you told people you own her? Own her? I don't own nobody. You That's what you told me? That's what I told you. You said you own her. I own her. This is your wife, and you can tell her what, what, she, what you wanted yeah, to tell her. my house. That's my wife. That was my kid. But you don't own her. That's how I do. No, you don't. You don't own her. You don't let her move around. You don't let... You get jealous every time she walk out the door. You can't hear you say you time. own her? You don't own her. I don't own her. You don't own her. Listen. I, I want to see where your head is. What do you mean by that? Listen. A man and a woman. Mom, you know what sometimes I'm on some real stuff, though, Mom. Sometimes oh, you call our house. I'm not. I'm not doing nothing. Sometimes you do make it seem like I'm incapable of, or me and him. Yeah, we argue. People go through stuff or whatever. She calls me sometimes. Mom, I can't do this no more. And when I hear she's that, then what? I feel as though she's tired. You know she's tired of being tired, you know Vic. Tired of what? You're not doing nothing for her. You're a bum. Oh. You ain't doing nothing for her. What I'm doing? A bum. I'm a bum. A bum. You really a bum. He ain't no bum. No. Take, first and first foremost, and he take care of his kids. First and foremost. You know what I mean? If I'm a bum, you don't do nothing for my daughter. Get get you arrested. Who thinks? Did she get you arrested? Hell yeah, she told her to cut herself so that I can get a I did? Really? Yeah, you actually told, told her to cut her that. Kind of well, no, I never tell you that. Up. You remember in Maryland? No. You remember? In Maryland, I went I to church. You wasn't and even near. You was near. beating on my daughter. You wasn't even near. You was beating you on my near. daughter. Sunday, and I where was you at? Did Mama tell you to where cut yourself to find him? No. Hold we on. No. Don't lie on me. I never told you to cut yourself. Who's a liar? Did she do that? She said that. That's what she said. I'm not trying to take this side. I'm not trying to take this side. I called you. Oh my guy, Keisha done uh, scratched herself you. up and cut herself up. I called and, um, you. Got you locked up. I called you. She got you locked. But let me let me stay on this point. Did Mama tell you to cut yourself no, and blame not. him? No, I did not. Truth time, Keisha. No, I did not. You no, hear don't what he lie said? Probably. My never. mom. She told the cops that I cut myself. Yeah. I mean that um he cut me. Did did he ever hit you? Fist. We uh, fought each other. Now, I don't know about fist. Did he we, ever physically abuse you? We fight. Physically? Physically? I'm, I'm, no, I'm not proud of it. I mean, people go... Well, let me ask you this. A man this should never hit... Me started. Do not get me started. Fitz, believe it or not, she came here to get a relationship with you. That was the goal, in a sense. But mainly a relationship with her own daughter. Now, can you have a relationship with her if she stays with him? Mm -mm. Well, Mom, I don't know what to tell you.
I don't, I don't know what to tell you because if that's the case, if somebody got something to say about that, well, I should say, well, I don't want to have a relationship with you because of the lifestyle you presented from the rent, from giving birth to me and everything. I should say, well, I don't want to have no ties or nothing with that. We got real problems here. This is where it's coming from. I, this is all from is from your actions and what you plot and this girl. Ex, but it's none of your business. You know what I'm saying? It's between you, me and so, my daughter. Yo, your is wrong. Do you think you know she's saying? sabotaging your relationship? Yeah, because she got going off of her relationships and what she's been through in the past. Even, even when it comes to us coming to the show, Let me tell you something. it made us get uh, uh, needed. Uh, women have relationships with men and girl. with their family, right? Let me right, right, right. Or take away. Or go not go. I can't like, you. Can you have a relationship right. with Fitz and a relationship with Reba? Can you do yes, that? Yes, I can. You can. Yes. Can you do that? Do what? Can you have Reba in your lover's life? Can you have a relationship with Ikeisha if Reba is in this relationship? I walked 67 miles and I still allow her to come to my place. And Reba, can you have a relationship with Ikeisha had, if he I stays in? I would have right there and then. I would not I can have you a again. relationship with Keisha. We need some kind of um, therapy. You need some help? Uh, 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 or something. You got to get it out. And um, Fix need to go to like some kind of domestic vi violence. Domestic violence. Counseling or, or something because he's like... He's Fitz, like really do you need angry. a little bit of domestic violence counseling? Just a little bit? Me? Anger yeah. management. Anger management. Well, I, believe, I believe you need to get some type of issues squared away with you. You're destroying our relationship. For what? How am I it's like, destroying it's, it's your like, relationship? It's like you're trying to destroy our relationship. How? Oh, I'm the time. I'm the real mom. You yeah, I'm the I, I don't, I, we what? don't need a kid's yeah, part. I, I don't even like yeah. you. If I, if I spend a night somewhere, well, I shouldn't be. She shouldn't be with me. Fitz, do you love this woman? Hell yeah. Do you love that I man? I'm still <laughs> No question. Oh, you man. got all these Double kids shit. to deal with. Down the road, we're going to try to help. I'm not sure we can. We'll be back with more. Stay right there. <laughs> Big mother-daughter drama ahead. You said I'm the problem. Yeah, you're, you're the, the problem. problem. You are the problem. You are the problem. You are the problem. But first, mom takes on the man she calls a deadbeat dad. What? 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 If you or a loved one are in a violent situation and need help, call the National Domestic Violence Hotline at 1-800-799-SAFE. That is 1-800-799-7233. For your free tickets to see the Bill Cunningham Show live in New York City, go to BillCunninghamShow.com or call 888-710-8425. Today's guests are mothers and daughters dealing with years of resentment and anger, and they're here to face the challenges that their relationships up to this point have built and see where they go from here. Please welcome Melody to the show. Melody, how you doing? All right. Hi. Tell me about your 16-year-old daughter. Uh, my daughter is off the hook, okay? First of all, she brought a boy into my house. Mind you, I go to school, right? So I'm sitting in my room doing my homework. All of a sudden, I don't know if y'all got internet, but I do, okay? In real talk, my internet shut off. So it's, it was connected in my daughter's room. So I'm going in there half dress, okay, to fix the internet. I turn around and it's a boy standing in her room. I'm like, are you straight up? You know what I'm saying? And she didn't tell me nothing about it. 16 year old girl. 16. Now, but let, let's back up. Mel, let's go back a little bit in time. Wait it, a minute, let me just tell you. I'm doing it like I said. You know, you, just, you got me started. Let me tell you. Weren't you a porn star? Uh, yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah. And, 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 uh, I'm saying, uh, and, okay, Bill, that's besides the point. That's beside the I'm point. I'm still right. the mother, okay? I'm still the mother. I'm educated. I got a high school diploma. I got a college degree. I have to do what I got to do to support my child. But, 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 but what, Keith believes that because of that porn star status, please, that maybe your daughter Keith, doesn't respect no, you. Keith went, uh, did, he's a deadbeat dad. You can, he don't have no criminal record. He got a college education. The boy, the man, well, he's a boy to me. Let me just put it that way. Keith is just sitting at home, drinking, smoking, kicking back, talking about if we, you get my daughter to me and then I'll live the way I want to live. Hello? 
Um, you donated my your sperm with my sperm, so you ain't got time. You know what I'm saying? Like, how you gonna sit there and be like, give my child to me? No. So he think that he gonna come up, right? If he have a child, what is he talking about? Welfare? How's he gonna come up? He not working. He haven't started working. So what? All right, now, Melody, you and Keith, the mother and father, are here to see if they can help your 16-year-old daughter live a little better life yeah, and not go my down daughter bad paths. Disrespectful, straight up. I don't care how old the person is. My daughter thinks she can be anybody's butt. Okay? She's not afraid of nobody. But let me tell you, this bill, she came from me. She's made from me. Okay? Right. But so, also from hey, him. Okay, yeah, well, whatever. That's besides the point. Please welcome but, Melanie's ex-boyfriend and, da and daughter's father, Keith, to the show. Come on out, Keith. You a liar, man. No, you a liar. No, no, you a no, dog no, well. No, you, no, no, you no, did not take care of your business. I had my baby since you first came out your womb. No, you told me. I had it since. You took when she was 13 years old. Let's sit down. What? No, no, no. Hold up, Bill. Hold up. You a dead be dead. No, I ain't no dead be dead. What I was with a dad sitting at home. Take care of my kids. Sit at home, dad. Let's sit down. Let's sit down. Let me. Sit at home. Honey, why don't you sit over there? Honey, why don't you sit over there? Love and care for my kids. What I see Shut now up. to this You're day right now. Sit down over here. No, no. Sit down over there. Keith, explain what's going on with your joint 16-year-old daughter. What's going on? I had my daughter since she was newborn, since she <laughs> came home to the hospital. You had You're lying. I had Where was Melody? Lying, lying, She's at lying, home. Lying. She's, um, um... No, where was me? Working I side you job. I was she... at, Bill. I was no. out there working my... If I had to do porn, if I had to escort, this was not porn in the beginning. Work, this was not porn in the beginning. Job, what the hell you been doing? What you I've been doing for the like last this? ten years, I became a carpenter like? and a welder. No, shut up! You go on with that nonsense. And to this day, right now, I'm still finishing when because in a couple days, I'm gonna have my GED and take my daughter. That your daughter is out of control. You need to bring yes. at your now house. Sit on your drink, talk a vodka, and think that's supposed to be cool. Let's have a it's seat. Let's talk about break. this. Tell me about Coon Mallory. It, 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 it's, it's Mallory. Is your 16-year-old girl named Mallory? Do you? Does she go back and forth between these homes because you think she's out of control? No, she, no, she goes ask. back and forth between our homes. No, 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 no. Because she I have kids. Me, I have other kids. I have like, another family. No, you're a coward. Take care of my daughter coward. and three because other kids. Mr. To my house and come get if your we're not together, I don't need to be at your house. I'm, the I'm not no rolling stone. I'm, I'm at home. I'm the one that have to get a crap with her. What no. are you talking about? Do Let's that. find out what do he's that. talking about. Yeah. All right, what do we find? Now, Kate, 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 let me. Are your rules too strict for Mallory? Is that part of the yes, problem? Yes. Oh, hell, hell no. Hell no. Let me tell you. Because I will whoop. I will get in the case. And I will slip in the blood right when it happens. I'm the one at school. Open house. Principal. Do every single no, day. Oh, no, yeah, wait a minute, hold on. For the last you, 10 years, I've been walking walk to school. Where have you been walking to school? I've been walking to school. What about you? Ain't so I'm playing in school. What the? No. Hold I'm playing in preschool. Let me tell you something. Sit down. No. What you don't understand is that what she didn't do is because she's doing it now. What she don't do is around me. Let's talk. You're both here because you love Mallory, right? Yes. You're both I love here. Her. I love now, her to death. Do you think possibly Mallory's affected by this kind of fighting? Is that possible? Why? Is it possible? Oh. Affect her life. Are you worried that Mallory sure. doesn't respect her mama? No, she, she don't worry. respect he her mama. Because she was a porn star and an escort? Because she was a porn star and an escort why? and she was never there. Why was that porn star there. and an escort? Because you a deadbeat dad. You sit on your you don't dead get dead. We'll be dead. back with more. Stay right there. The mother-daughter drama you've been waiting for. I don't care. I don't you care. You you care. Me. Me. You 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 care. I don't care. I don't you care. care. Big questions. Are you having sex at the age no, of 16? No, I am not having no. sex at the age of 16. Do you think and she if might she might was there for me, I she would know that. Big results. Today, did job. you take a pregnancy test? Yes. We're going to find out today whether you're <laughs> pregnant or not. What does that mean to you if she's pregnant? Oh, honey, you got to get out of my house.
Are you in love with a sex addict and it's breaking up your relationship? Or are you a sex addict and it's time to confess your naughty exploits to your lover? We want to hear your story. Contact me at BillCunninghamShow.com. Call me at 1-855-US-BILL or text GUEST at 95902. Message and data rates may apply. Mom, I want a better relationship between us. I want you to stop calling me names and treat me fair. I want you to stop cussing at me. Stop making me feel like I'm not worth it in life. And then we won't have any problems. There will not be no more arguments. Today's about defiant daughters and malicious moms. Do you think your goal here today is to have your child, 16-year-old Mallory. I don't even know why you're talking to him. I don't even know why you're talking to him. It's not going to do no good. Do you want to have fun? What we're going to do with our daughter so we can make things better? No, you're not participating in this situation. Shut up, shut up, shut up. You're talking nonsense. You know you, today ain't going to change nothing, Bill. I'm just going to keep it real, okay? Keep it real. Today and tomorrow and the rest of the day because she's turning 18 to make her own decision. Everything will be just fine. She's going to be off the hook. You ain't gonna do a damn thing about it. Do anything Let's about just keep it, it okay? Real. What's gonna you happen talk, when I get all there? Talk, she gonna all know from talk. here today that she's not gonna do this. Not gonna when do that gonna no more. Please welcome Melody and Keith's daughter, Mallory. Mallory, come on out. You said I'm the problem. Yeah. You're the problem. You're the problem. You're the problem. I sense the anger. Why are you so mad at your mama? And let her let her talk. I'm gonna let her talk, Bill. <laughs> Mallory, why are you so mad at your mama? Why? Because my mom, she puts me down phys like um emotionally, like I'm really like sensitive. So she put me down, she calls me fat, and she said that I'm not gonna graduate high school and I'm never gonna get a job. But I'm going to school, I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. No, and not. she she's not there for me. She don't involve no, in not. nothing when I have Your parents I'm, think you're going down the wrong path. You are. That... You are no, very I'm not. much so. I'm in high very... school, I'm doing all my work, I'm a charity uh, day. She goes to and school she doesn't go to none of my games. No assemblies at Assemblies are uh, worthy. She never went to. You think she you grown. Keith, you think you grown. Get into this. No, Keith, I what don't think she's grown. Yes, she's she she grown and had her responsibilities right. Because for one, she, she does her, her own games. thing at the house. You don't go to she her cooks her own food. She washes no, her she own don't. clothes. Yeah, she has to get in the bus at wee hour time. She can teach the kids at school. Let's go. When I was in eighth grade, I'm walking down the street. At 12 o'clock at night, I'm calling my mom to come pick me up. She didn't even want to come pick me up. She want to be up in the house with her little friends, drinking, doing whatever she what? want to do. But she can't come pick me up from down the street. What was she and doing was down the street at 12 o'clock? What happened? At night? What happened? I was coming from practice, catching a bus all the way from the east side of the at 12 o'clock at night. Whatever, Mallory. No. Uh, no man, Mallory, are you having are you having sex at the age no, of sixteen? No, I am not having no. sex at the age of sixteen. Do you think and she if might she was there for me, I she would think, know that. I it was gonna take the time to take me to the doctor and see I'll that. I'll tell you why I think you're pregnant. Because one of my friends screenshot your um Facebook page. That's why I tell you you need to watch what you put on Facebook. But then okay. I told you but two or three me, years ago, me. don't she put out a physical at the age of sixteen? Let me you. Okay. Melody, so so then she goes on on her Facebook page, she goes, um, I ate Chinese food and it didn't like it. What the hell is an it? What are you talking about? It. First of all, I was talking about my stomach. Well. Okay. Well. And, and does that you're not there for me. I don't no, care. No, I don't care. You're not there for my house. Let me I tell don't you. Care. It kind of be two so points. I don't care. You're not there for me. You always put me down. You don't care. You always put me down. Whatever. Come to Whatever. Nothing.
do whatever it takes. Yes, I do. Now she ain't as bad as a kid, but as a 13 year old, you being bad as a grown woman. Get a job and help me support. Mary, today, did you take a pregnancy test? Yes. We're going to find out today whether you're pregnant or not. What does that mean to you if she's pregnant? Oh, honey, you got to get out of my house. It can't be, and you can't be grown. You cannot be in my you house. You would kick out your pregnant 16 year old. You damn skippy. She, she better buy it then. When did I come home on Sunday? You can't be you take her in? pregnant girl Shut for one. Ain't you the mother? Shut up. Like you the mother of this child? One time. My dad is the Debbie. All them boys, they ain't never did nothing for you. Shut up. Make you feel insecure. You don't know what you're talking about. Like, hold on. Why don't you just live with him? Why don't you live with Keith? Why? Just live with your dad. Why not? Is he too strict? Is that part of the problem here? When I was, he ain't got no money. When I was younger, that's what I felt like. He was like, he ain't too got strict. no money. How about now? Into jail. Now, I every, so I every, know every, if, every if you can't live can, with your mom, if this drink. is what goes he on at home, that, why don't you move in with your dad? I'm not educated. I don't nigga. got a job. You broke, but if I had a GED and you broke. two days, you, I have to pay more than you and you in the industry. Would you take her into your house? She can come home anytime she's she wants coming like home. you always Let's do this. Pregnancy test results are coming up. Stay right there. For your free tickets to see the Bill Cunningham Show live in New York City, go to BillCunninghamShow.com or call 888-710-8425 now. It's time to go to your phone and get ready for today's viewer decision. Reba is desperate for her daughter, Aikisha, to break off her relationship with her boyfriend, Fitz. Do you think Aikisha and Fitz should stay together no matter what Reba says? Call 855-TELL-BILL with your decision. You're also going to receive some valuable offers. What will you decide? Call 855-TELL-BILL now. Don't look good. Our guests today take after their mothers, and unfortunately, that may be the biggest problems their families face. It's time to get the results of the pregnancy test. But having heard this, a mother you could have worse problems in life than a mom and dad who both love you. There are worse things in life. Keith wants to be involved in your life, right? Yes. Melody, what do you need to see from your daughter in order for you two to get along? What has to change in this? Okay, first of all, um, she needs to stop um, sneaking boys into my house. When I tell her to do something, she needs to do it and don't give me no mouth about it. She needs to stop I always do everything, everything you, you need tell to stop me to cussing do. out your teachers I always at tell school. You, stop over here lying. No, stop I'm lying. Not, no, You're no, always lying. No, I'm I'm always, no, I am always lying. people no. think I'm bad. I do everything you need. Do you, you sneak you boys don't. in your room? You don't. You don't. I make you a don't. Drink. No, I'm a child. I'm activist at this No, no, no. You need to stop I bring no, no man home. Well, you get you to, a job. You what need happens? To Make with some her. money legit you instead of um, Melody. You need to come over and interact Melody. with her. He don't have no job. He said right, no. I but when back, you when weed, you made your decision to do this to make that, your money, no, when we was going together, this. he you know wasn't what? doing that job. You, you need doing to be quiet. Be we quiet. broke up when, she, quiet when you were pregnant because, with her. What? We broke up when you, you were pregnant did, with all her. All you are is a sperm donator. That's it. That's and that's all. why I ain't giving no money. It, so quit asking me about that. Let me be a father to my child. Let's get to the pregnancy test. Are you ready now? Yeah, hurry up. What, hurry up. What does it mean? Hurry up. All right. If she's pregnant, what does it mean to you? She gonna get the hell up out of my house, and what you gonna do? You will come home, and I'll take care of you, <laughs> and we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna both work, out, work this out with our child, that? with your child. How All right, you I, let's get the results. Hold on, honey. Here we go. Do you think you could be pregnant? It's nope. po It's possible. No, not a possibility. Nope. No. No, no I'm not playing that. I'm not playing at all. Whatever, Keith. Some serious well, when it comes to whether or not you are pregnant, Mallory, the test results showed that you are not pregnant. Now, where are you going to move? When, we, when you leave the show and go back to California, whose house are you going to go into? Daddy. My dad. Daddy, all right. We heard from my guest, my audience now. Who's going to say it's time for Turk Factory? Come on. Melody, 
<laughs> your daughter did not ask to come here, and I believe I to come here, and I believe that she's acting out on maybe your past life that was and my what you've past. done. Now I'm in school. <laughs> One thing I wanted to say to her is, you need to respect your mother. You you need to stop disrespecting her. And I wanted to say that, you know, where... Throw your children away. You get them help. She's trying to be the queen of the castle. I was going to step my own hands That's my fault. Anyway, you want to be your daddy house. Next question. Hold on, honey. Mallory, hold on. For Mallory, I just want to say that you're a beautiful girl, and regardless of what your mother say, you are very talented. Thank but you. I feel like the disrespect has to stop as well with the with the other comments. The disrespect has to stop. That's your mother, and you only have one. Regardless of what she's done in the past, she's still your mother. You. Okay. Got to show respect. Last question. All Go right. Ahead. So I guess an extension to that um, for Mallory, uh, I do kind of agree, but at the same time, that's your only daughter. When she turns no, 18, that's not my only well, daughter. doesn't matter. She's your daughter. Period. Yeah. And when she turns 18, if she chooses to turn her back on you, you have no say after that point. She could have oh, children, cool. grandkids, and you'll miss out on that. When as a, a daughter hears that if, if a crisis happens in my life, like an unwanted pregnancy, and she's 16, and she hears, I'm kicking you out. I'm ki that kind of demonstrates you really don't have that deep-seated love that maybe a no, mother should I have. Work. I, work. Work. I work. I work. You work. I work. I provide. I provide. When my mom get older, I will be taking care of her, no, and I will won't. always be there no, regardless of what she did. I'm not back one more. Stay right there. Hey guys, Anna here. Would you ever reunite with a parent who abandoned you as a child? Well, 70% of you out there said yes. Catherine Vaughn posted this. Yes, because everyone deserves a second chance. A chance to explain why. We'll join the conversation right now on Facebook. Are you in love with a sex addict and it's breaking up the relationship? Or are you a sex addict and it's time to confess your naughty exploits to your lover? We want to hear your story. Contact me at BillCunningMShow.com. Call me at 1-855-US-BILL or text GUEST at 95902. Message and data rates may apply. Close. Can my guest today put aside their anger and resurrect a loving mother-daughter relationship. Please welcome psychologist Robbie Ludwig to the show. Robbie, how you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. Let's begin your right with Reba and Akeisha and Fitz. We've done this so many times about mothers who cannot respect the choices of their daughters when it comes to men. So how can all the mothers, but especially Reba, get over this? Well, I mean, I certainly understand how a mother-in-law would want to love her son-in-law, but the fact of the matter is you don't always get to pick who your child marries. And if you feel that this person is a decent person and your daughter has a family with this man, you need to figure out a way. You're not marrying him. He's not your choice. You're allowed to have your feelings, which may not change. But if you want to have a good relationship with your daughter and your grandkids, it's important to figure out a way to make things work. Now, Robbie, what do you do when a mother perceives domestic violence, abuse, whether true or false, the mother perceives that the Fitz has hurt her daughter physically and emotionally. Isn't that a little more difficult? The best that you can do is, is try to impress upon your daughter that she is worthy of more and help her feel good and supported so ultimately she can get to that place. So Reba, can you it's lead her to what you want? Because once you have an adult child, um, they're able to make those decisions for themselves. Right. right Reba, what wrong. do you have to say? Well, I say that, um, all I'm going to do is just be here for her. This is my mom, and I choose to be with this man regardless of our differences, you know. That's not going to change. Rest your life. Right. If we not can make, do change. something to where it could better the situation, that's right. so sabotage that's the situation, right. I'm, I'm all, right. all for it. Yeah, Robbie, I mean, what do we do yeah. now with Mallory and Melody and, and, and Keith? I mean, this 16-year-old girl. I like Mallory. I think she's such a lovely child. 16 I, years old. Yes. I, and and. First of all, for an adolescent, it is developmentally normal to fight with your parents and to want to be your I own. Fight with my parents. Okay, but That's it is okay. But well, no, but it's very developmentally normal. I'm not saying you have to do it in a disrespectful way, but they are trying to figure out who they are, and part of doing that is separating from parents. Now, 
I think what's going on here is everybody's interested in proving their rightness, and they're missing the point, and they're missing right. the valuable. I am right. Wait, wait, right. hold on. I am right. right. I am right. Do you think they're she'd be better off with Keith? And I think what's going on and here is instead of up. listening, you're getting defensive and you're not. You're shutting down. Yeah. So I just come be, at her the way she okay, come at me. Be, you know what you, I mean? She come at me like she's somebody on the street. So okay. I'm going to give her what she wants. I'm not doing that. I'm going to give her what she wants. They need to stop and listen. And, and, and maybe I'm going to ask you just to stop to listen to me. Because I'm not taking sides. I'm just trying to make both of you aware of what's going on. Your daughter is telling you what she needs from you. And, and you need to decide whether you want to give that to her. She needs you to show up for some of her, her cheerleading shows. That. Sometimes she needs you to pick her up. And your mom is in a profession where it's easy for a person to devalue themselves. So she might be more sensitive right. about being attacked. Well, let's, let's look to the future. So, Robbie, you see hope maybe in this relationship, but should she move in with Keith and leave mom alone temporarily? Well, I think... I think Mallory should move in with the parent she feels is most supportive of her and work on having and developing a strong relationship with no both job. your parents. What does the audience say? Yes. Keith? Yes. Move in with Keith. Yes. When we yes. continue, it's the bottom line. For more info, go to the website, BillCunninghamShow.com. It's time to go to your phone and get ready for today's viewer decision. Reboot. You know, if you and your mom are always at odds, here's the bottom line. You are a product of your parents, but as an adult, your actions are your responsibility. It's hard to show love when you're angry at mom or dad all the time. Be patient and keep trying. It could be worth it. God gave us two ears to listen twice as much as we speak. And I think we're all better off by listening to what the needs of our children are. I want to thank all my guests for coming in, and I'll see you the next time. Yeah. these mothers and daughters normally we make a little breakthrough but I'm not sure I sensed it I just think the relationship between a mother and daughter is is difficult in and of itself so if you're why is that I think you butt heads a lot oh, I so mean when I was a teenager my mom and I definitely butted heads but now that I'm an adult she's my best friend in the world Twice. But I think at that, you know, at Mallory's age at 16, your relationship with your parents in general, no matter who you are, it's but tough. You're testing boundaries. She ought to move and go with Keith a little bit, then come back. I don't later even on. know if that's an option. I don't know. Yeah, that should be interesting. Hopefully, we'll, follow we'll up, check though. in and things will be better. Yeah, I agree.